In this video, we're going to be discussing plants and natural products that have activity against the Flaviviridae family of viruses. Viruses within this family include the Zika virus, West Nile, dengue, yellow fever, tick-borne encephalitis, as well as the Hep C virus. In this video, antiviral refers to activity against the Flaviviridae or Flaviviridae type viruses. I also included a warning list on things that you should probably discuss with your healthcare provider before using any herb or natural product. We're not going to focus too much on viral hosts or its life cycle, but there is some interesting research being done on the individual mosquito's susceptibility to the virus and how it may be related to the presence of a bacteria. We're going to look at three phases of the viral life cycle, including entry into the cell, processing, and release of the virus. In this section, we're going to look at the plant and natural products, the chemicals they have, and the activity they have against the Flaviviridae. The first plant we're going to talk about is turmeric, and it has activity against dengue and Japanese encephalitis virus. This is in cell lines. And the chemicals in there are curcumin as well as curcuminoids. And in the rightmost column, I have listed the PubMed identifier for you in case you want to look for yourself. I wasn't real familiar on the medicinal properties of the second plant on the list, China Berry, only that it had allelochemicals that would kill surrounding plants. But in cell based assays, it had activity against West Nile, dengue, and yellow fever. Green tea contains EGCG, epigallocatechin gallate, as well as other polyphenols, and it inhibited HCV entry into cell lines. Tannins are found in various teas and foods like chocolate, and they inhibit HCV entry. This was done in cell culture. Additional plant and natural products with antiviral activity include the shiitake mushrooms, and this was from mycelial extracts, which inhibited HCV entry. This was done in cell lines. And the next plant we have is rhodiola, which is an adaptogen, and it contains rosavins, tyrosol, and gallic acid. This inhibits dengue in cell lines, and it also increases natural killer cell activity. Now, it is unknown if the rhodiola rosier also has the same activity as the plant on the list. Aqueous extracts of Baikal skullcap, which contain Baikalin, had uh, viricidal activity against dengue in cells. And this is also neuroprotective against toxins such as 6-hydroxydopamine. So if you have Parkinson's, you may want to look into using Baikal skullcap or at least talk about it with your physician. Berberine found in plants like golden seal and yellow root had activity against the chikungunya virus, which is a positive single-strand RNA virus. Next group of plants and natural products include phylanthus, also known as stonebreaker, and methanolic extracts of that inhibited dengue and cells. Liminoids from Honduran mahogany had activity against dengue, and I don't know if other liminoids from different plants would also have similar activity. So that's maybe an area of further investigation. Ethyl acetate extract of the Tunisian carrot, Dacus carota maritimus, had an activity against West Nile and Hep C in cell lines. There could be some variation in secondary chemicals depending on where the plants are grown. So I don't know if we could say for sure that the regular carrot, Dacus carota, would have the same chemicals and activity as the subspecies Maritimus. But it is interesting that Dacus carota, the seeds, had been used as like a folk medicine abortifacient. And the last plant on our list is pokeweed, Phytolaca americana, which contains pokeweed antiviral protein. And this was effective at 300 nanograms per mil against the Japanese encephalitis virus. So that's the most potent, it looks like, on our list. This was in cell lines. As well as in mice, administered pokeweed pre or post the Japanese encephalitis virus infection. So that's interesting.